okay so I'm finally gonna start coding in this video I know it's taken a long time to get here but if you have reached here then give yourself a pat on the back we've got through all of the theory and the concepts and we can finally start coding so just start BlueJ and create a new project name it whatever you want I called mine ICSC Java because that's the name of the series and uh, once you started BlueJ just come here and click new class and give your class a name and we're just gonna start with a very simple class let's just call it class let's give the class name addition okay so once you've got that you'll see this yellow box appear here which is the class so double click on it and whatever you see here just take all of it and just remove it and now we can start coding so I want you to code as I code on my screen you can follow the video and code along the way and I will first write all the code and then I'll explain it so it becomes easy and again I'll explain it once so I'll start off by writing the class or declaring the class rather so to declare the class you write the class name you write the word class followed by the class name and then you open a block then I'll start off by writing the function name I'll call my function public void main or to make it more meaningful public void add and I'll open a block there also now I'm going to define my variables in the function let's say I have one variable called int sum which stores the sum of two numbers now what the problem is that there is no way for me to get two numbers now let me just give two random numbers for now let me write down int a is equal to 5 comma c is equal to is equal to 3 now what you can do is if you have two variables of the same data type you can just write the first one equals what give a comma separated with the second one so we have a and b a equals 5 b equals 3 now what we can do here is instead of writing in sum we can change that to sum is equal to a plus b which means sum is equal to the value of a plus the value of b and now what I'll write here is it's one statement system dot out dot print ln sum or I can make it more meaningful I'll give double quotes inside them I'll write the sum is equal to and now outside the quotes I write a plus and a sum now in this case the plus sign does not mean does not necessarily mean that you're adding the two numbers what it means is that you're adding this sum this variable here sum to the end of this this line here the sum is so get that clear in your head okay so I think that's all for this class now I'll, I'll just go over the explanation so first you declare the class it's very simple class space the class name that's the syntax so first you declare the class class space class name that can be whatever you want then you declare the function the syntax for this is access specifier return type function name if you remember correctly parentheses and in here goes the parameters which I will be speaking on in this video then you have your block of code so if you have this clear let me just make that text bigger if you have this clear then you can go through the whole video and all of your Java programming will be clear now let's say instead of predefined values you wanted the user to enter values now I will go into that 
before that let me just run this program for you what you do is you right click this and then you click on compile and it shows you all those lines are gone then what you do is you right click it here you see new addition you click that just click ok and what we've done is we've created an object of this class remember class is an object so there's an object here now you right click it you see something called void add so you click on it so here it prints the sum is 8 this statement here it's a statement to print don't panic it's very simple there is an inbuilt class in Java called system which has another class called out which contains a method called println so you're just calling that this is inbuilt just remember system.out.println and here you can write anything you want for if, if I wanted I could have just given the variable sum here and it would have printed the sum or what I can write is the sum is equal to plus sum here sum refers to the variable sum so I hope you got that in the next video what I'll be dealing on is let's say you have you don't want to use a is equal to 5 and B is equal to 3 you want the person who is using the program to define that so I will go over that in the next video which will be on how to accept anything from the user how to accept data how to take input so that's all for this video I hope your concepts are clear if they're not feel free to message me on Facebook or on YouTube and have a good day